So there's a little bit of new vocabulary for you in this kinetics chapter, something called the order of a reaction. The order of the reaction is just the exponent of the concentration of a certain chemical in that rate law expression. So let's say if we had that generic reaction A plus B goes to C plus D, and let's say we figured out the rate law was rate equals K times A times B squared, we would, the terminology we would use is to say that it's first order with respect to A and second order with respect to B. If we said, what's the order of the reaction overall? We'd say it's third order overall. To get the overall order for a reaction, you just add the exponents together. So how do they figure out what those rate orders are? How do they know what the exponents are for a reaction? What they're going to do is they have to collect some data. And what you're going to look for in these reactions are things that are staying the same and things that are changing. So in, when you look at experiment one versus experiment two, and we look at the concentrations of our nitrogen monoxide and our chlorine, and when we look at the differences of experiment one versus experiment two, we're going to keep the concentration of nitrogen monoxide the same in both trials. The thing that's different about trial one versus trial two is the concentration of our chlorine. We're doubling the concentration of the chlorine. And when we do that, um, when we do that, sorry, then this guy also is doubled, right? When we go 1.43 times 10 to the negative 6, if we double that 2.86 times 10 to the negative 6. So doubling the chlorine concentration ended up doubling the rate. All right, so we doubled. Well, we went from here to here.